Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this past weekend, I had another three events to decorate. Oh my gosh, guys, when I tell you, at the end of the weekend, I could barely walk. My feet were killing me. <laughs> it took me two days just to recover because it seems like July was just so busy. I was going from event to event to event, all right? So I was able to record all of the setups for you guys. In this video, we are gonna focus on the first event that I decorated. It was a surprise 60th birthday party. My clients were so sweet and they were so excited to be able to throw their mother a birthday party. This was her first ever birthday party, so they wanted to make sure it was really special for her. So let's get into the setup and then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so I can get into my lessons learned. All right, so let's get started. Thank you. 
So that was the birthday party. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? I just felt so blessed to be able to take part in that birthday celebration. I'm in the process of planning my mom's 60th birthday party next year because she's another one. She has reminded us year after year that she has never had a birthday party, right? So I know how it feels to want to throw your mom, you know, something special so that she could be celebrated and she can have her day and then she can have those memories, right? Of everybody coming together to celebrate her birthday. So I just felt so blessed to be able to take part in that. All right, so let's get into the lessons learned because I do have a few of them. The first one that I wanted to share with you guys, do you see this sign? So this is my happy birthday sign that I put on the backdrop. They loved this sign. But guys, guess what? This was my third sign, okay? So the first happy birthday sign that I ordered was too small. So that's the first feedback that I have for you. If you're gonna be ordering a happy birthday sign for a backdrop that's at least eight feet wide by eight feet tall, so that's what that flower wall was, it's an eight by eight. If you're gonna be ordering um, a sign for it, you wanna make sure your sign is at least 46 inches, okay? The first sign that I ordered was 42 inches and it was just way too small. And to be honest, I could have actually ordered this just a little bit bigger, okay? So you wanna make sure you order it in at least 46 inches. The second thing, I don't know what was going on, but this sign originally was delivered to the wrong address. The mailman, for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe he was just having a busy day, ended up delivering the sign to the wrong address. So I had to go back and forth, or at least, you know, I was just sending emails to the vendor to let them know, like, hey, I have an event coming up and I didn't get the sign. The sign must have been delivered to the wrong address. I was telling them that I was checking my ring doorbell. I don't have any you know, images or videos of anything being delivered to me. So I didn't hear back from the vendor, so I started freaking out. I ended up ordering another happy birthday sign. So this sign and the other happy birthday sign both showed up at the same time. So I ended up ordering three signs. <laughs> three signs for this event. So my feedback to you guys is to make sure that you're ordering signs in the right size. And then second of all, you wanna make sure that you're giving yourself plenty of time, right? You don't wanna order these signs two weeks before your event because there's a chance you may not get it or something may go wrong. You wanna give yourself at least a month, but if you can give yourself two months, you know, order them two months ahead of time, I would recommend that. Another lesson learned from this event is that I have to make sure that I have enough gold balloons in my inventory. That's a color that I have to keep stocked and make sure that I have that in my inventory because it sells out so quickly 
and then it's hard to find it, okay? So I normally order Simpertex, their Reflex Gold, and then I keep that in my inventory. But guess what? For this event, I actually ordered Bellatex, okay? So I ordered Bellatex, and I couldn't find um, just bags of gold. So what I had to do was just order an, ass an assorted brand that had the gold, it has silver, and it also has rose gold in here, all right? So if you can't find the Reflex Gold in Simpertex off of balloons online, because that's normally where I'll order my gold balloons, then you could also order these Bellatex balloons, which I found at Toy World, okay? So I'll make sure I put a link in the description just in case you guys need that for your event. And the last lesson learned from this event is that I have to blow up more big balloons. So by big balloons, I mean 17 inch, 18 inch, 24 inch, or 36 inch. With this balloon backdrop, I realized that when I blew up my extra balloons, I really only blew up nine inch and five inch. I didn't bring any bigger balloons, you know, to be able to shape my balloon backdrop and my balloon garland. So. I have to make sure, you know, that I'm bringing enough balloons and make sure that I'm bringing the bigger balloons as well as the smaller balloons to shape my balloon garland. And don't worry, I know a lot of times you guys ask me, you know, how many balloons did you use? How many balloons did you use? When I'm setting up these events, I just don't have the time, you know, when I'm prepping for events and then when I, you know, have to go to the venue and set up, I don't have the time to count the balloons. But I am going to be working on some online courses for you guys so that you could see the decoration. And in those online courses, I'm going to tell you exactly how many balloons that you'll need for different types of backdrops, you know, to be able to shape and create beautiful balloon garlands. All right, guys, so those are my lessons learned. If you guys have any questions on any of the materials that I use, please be sure to check the description of this video. Don't forget, you get a 10% discount if you use my discount code for that flower wall, okay? Because I know some of you guys have said that you wanna purchase your own flower wall from Rose Morning. I have a 10% off discount for you, all right? If you guys have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.